hello welcome youtube we are back with another diy video to do this diy project you need a screwdriver wire cutter soldering iron rod 3.5 mm female jack and a tape and an auxiliary cable let's begin let's remove all the screws with help of a screwdriver actually most of car stereos with cd exchanger ports are easy to convert into auxiliary inputs and easy to add a usb port but this one doesn't have a cd exchanger port at the rear so we are going to directly take connections from the board itself This is a old Kenwood car stereo player. We're going to remove few more screws. carefully disconnect the, all the cables this is the flex cable which carries all the decoded audio signals from optical drive to main audio board Carefully disconnect the flex cable. After removing the flex cable, try to find left channel, right channel and ground points near the flex cable connecting point. In this board we are going to find out left channel, right channel and ground point from where we, we are going to add a auxiliary input. So here we have found the left channel, right channel and audio ground. This is an example image how it will be look like. This image was taken from this board and we have found LCH left channel, RCH right channel and AG and D which is ground carefully look for these points here we are using an old RCA cable to connect the female jack you can use any old auxiliary cable for this but in this case we are going to use an old RCA cable we are going to shoulder these three points in ground left channel right channel just carefully shoulder the cable this time we are going with the color coding and we are going to shoulder white white to LC at left channel and red white to RC at right channel and copper one to the A ground which is ground just carefully and neatly shoulder the wire Now we are completely finished with the shouldering part. Just running the wire from the back side.
just cleaning some mess now we are going to shoulder a 3.5 mm female jack to this wire you can also google for wiring diagram This is my old car dashboard panel and now we are going to add this input jack to this car panel. Put everything back together and carefully connect the flex cable with the board put everything back carefully and neatly and fix it in the car we hope this video was useful to you and if you have any doubts please leave a comment down below and please do subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.